Hello and welcome to email to skills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to use PostgreSQL uh, on Postgre in uh, Linux environment. So the first thing is what is PostgreSQL.conf file. So PostgreSQL.conf file is a parameter file which is available on Postgre server when the uh, the Postgre server is uh, installed, and uh, and the parameters are read when the when the server starts. So when the server restarts, it means when the uh, Postgre server restarts, and uh, most of the parameters are global parameters, and they are read uh, when the server is starting up uh, and uh, let's let's see uh, some of the facts about uh, the uh, the server parameter file which is postgresql.conf uh, like what is the location of postgresql.conf on linux environment uh, and uh, how do we change it uh, how do we check uh, so let's uh, let's see a small demo this is my postgresql uh, server so uh, i'll just say um, uh, system CTL status PostgreSQL. Uh, the version is PostgreSQL 12, so you can see the status is uh, active and running. So what I can I, I'll say is PSQL, and I'll be connected to the Postgre uh, prompt. So by default, PostgreSQL.conf is located in uh, data directory. If, if you say show data underscore directory, it will be available at this location. Or if you wanted to uh, see the exact location, you will have to say uh, show config underscore file. So you can write uh, show config underscore file. So this will give you the complete location of postgresql.conf file. And... Uh, you can uh, uh, view it using the uh, 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 view command or uh, if you wanted to modify some of its parameter you can uh, uh, save the changes using uh, vi and uh, some of the parameters require uh, server reboot some of them may not require the server reboot uh, so we'll uh, so that is a very interesting point like uh, how to check which one is uh, requiring the Okay, this is my postgresql.conf and uh, how do we check the parameters so it is uh, um, the parameters are uh, are listed in uh, pg underscore settings so if you say uh, select name comma settings from pg underscore settings uh, you'll be able to see all the parameters so you can see allow system modes so it is an alphabetical Order. So I think it is close to some 300 parameters. So 314 parameters are there and uh, you can see the values on the right side, the parameter uh, name on the left side. Uh, let's see the, how many distinct uh, parameters are there. So we'll say uh, select uh, uh, distinct context, sorry, uh, context from PG underscore settings. So if there is a uh, context as postmaster against any parameter that means when you try to uh, modify that parameter at that time you need to uh, to restart your uh, postgresql instance so that the changes are uh, reflected uh, so we discussed about postmaster context uh, okay let's move on to the next slide How to modify postgresql.conf uh, parameter so we checked how to check uh, uh, the parameter and then we will see uh, how to how to uh, modify it so let's let's see some of uh, very basic uh, uh, parameter like if i say show port uh, it will show me at uh, what port this uh, uh, postgre is listening so it is listening at uh, 5432 port number or, or there is a very basic uh, parameter which is max underscore connection so if I say show 
max underscore connection so there are 100 connections allowed at one particular point of time and if you go beyond this you will not be allowed to connect it so let's let's see how do we uh, uh, make changes to this parameter from 100 to 200 there are two ways uh, one way is uh, either you edit uh, the parameter file using bi editor and you restart uh, the instance or you can use uh, uh, there is something called as alter system you just say alter system set max connection equal to new value so in this case we are trying to increase it from 100 to 200 so i'll say uh, alter system set uh, uh, max connection equal to 200 so let's do that so it has changed to 200, but this requires a, a reboot. So this will not be reflected as of now. So if I say show max connections, it will still show 100. So where, where do we find like uh, uh, it, it has gone to? So let's go to the data directory and uh, uh, show uh, data directory. I think we already executed it and uh, so this is the location of uh, postgresql.conf cd one step back and uh, this is the data directory so if i say ls hyphen lrt so there is a, a file which is called as postgresql dot auto dot conf so if you view this file you will be able to see the uh, the alter command which you just fired so max connection equal to 200 so what happens uh, when you restart your instance when you restart your instance this value is picked up from from here first of all your postgresql.conf is read and then this postgresql.auto.conf parameter will be read so let us restart the uh, instance uh, pseudo system ctl restart Postgres equal 12 so instance is restarted just check the status it is in the running mode and now let's uh, log into uh, log into the command prompt psql and we'll say show uh, max underscore connections which we updated using uh, 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 using set parameter alter system so you can uh, set the parameter uh, globally using alter there so there are some parameters which are applicable for global there are some which are at uh, at, uh, at uh, what do you say the session level there are some at uh, your uh, your user level so you need to classify them Okay, moving on to the next one. So there are different uh, components which are available in PostgreSQL.conf. So there is something called, uh, so when you open it uh, or when you view it using the view command or edit it uh, using the VI, you will be able to see something called as connections and authentication, which will have listen address equal to localhost. That means um, uh, this, this particular tutorial is not about uh, defining what are the different parameters like but uh, have this will give you a a kind of glimpse of uh, what is postgresql.conf how to modify it where it exists and what all can be done with this so there is in this particular section connection and authentication you have listen underscore address equal to localhost by default postgre do not allow the remote connections so it is equal to localhost. So if you have to allow remote connection, you need to uh, change this value from localhost to the IP address of the server. In in my case, the IP address of my system is 71, 192.168.1.71. So in case I have to allow the remote IP address connection, so I will have to add the IP address of the server itself where server is running, Postgres server is running. Port is 5432. Max connection is equal to 100 at this present time. So you can see on the right hand side uh, of each parameter, there is change requires restarts. If you try to restart, uh, change the value of max connection from 100 to 200, you need to restart the server. Uh, sorry, the uh, my uh, Postgre instance. And uh, let's let's move on to the next one. 
connection and authentication then you have something called as a resource usage so how much of resource you want wanted to give uh, to uh, to postgre uh, server so by default uh, for our system where i have 2 gb of ram i have given 128 mb so when you are tuning such parameters shared buffer uh, you need to uh, set to uh, some minimum value let's say 15 to 20 percent of the ram then you need to gradually increase till the time you find the optimum uh, usage of the ram so if you try to update any of the parameter like huge pages or shared buffer it, it says uh, the change requires uh, restart so you need to restart the change but there are some parameters you you will not see like change requires uh, restart like uh, work underscore uh, mem is equal to 4 mb so uh, 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 this is work area when some temporary uh, uh, rearrangement has to happen in the memory so you can see it is uh, some 64 kb uh, and as of now it is uh, 4 mb this, and if you have to increase the value you do not need to i think this is this can be done uh, on the fly uh, the next one is well which is uh, right ahead log uh, that means so uh, whenever any change is made to the database so before right it writing to the database it has to be written to a file which is a while a while log so you have this uh, replication parameters also mentioned in postgresql.conf uh, so you have sending servers you have master server you have standby server we'll have a separate session for replication in postgresql.conf uh, you have something called as query tuning also you can enable the hash join or index scan so by default they are on so uh, if you wanted to turn it off you can do that as well so you have a lot of parameters some 312 parameters we saw in postgresql.conf so based on your requirement you can turn it on or off reporting and logging like let's say what where i wanted to uh, record all all what is happening so you can put it into where to log then you have uh, when to log and what to log so you have all the 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 uh, the uh, flexibility available auto vacuum is one of the greatest feature in uh, in postgre so any unused space or or any kind of uh, maintenance activity happens by uh, in this auto vacuum so by default it is uh, it is enabled so we have a separate session on auto vacuum client connection or defaults are available then you have lock management is also available like what happens when the deadlock uh, is is uh, the instance faces the deadlock situation uh, like uh, how many locks per transaction it can it can uh, support in particular point of time then you have a version and platform compatibility so this is somewhat related to your uh, backward complete compatibility error handling so when when your instance uh, suffers some kind of error or what it is going what it's supposed to do it it is supposed to exit or restart or, uh, or what what it has to do config file includes so this will give you the location so this option apply uh, allow settings to be loaded from file other than the default postgresql.conf in case you wanted uh, some non-default uh, postgresql.conf uh, so you can do it in config file includes and that is it so just a recap uh, like uh, uh, what we saw is uh, we did a small demo like how to find the location of postgresql.conf and uh, then we we saw if the context is postmaster then uh, uh, in that case you have to restart your your uh, instance and uh, and if you uh, there are parameters which can be changed globally using alter system set command and there are some parameters which are requires restart 
and when you say older system set and if it requires a restart it goes to post postgresql dot conf uh, auto file and it is read when your insta uh, instance is coming up so the first one is to be read is postgresql dot conf and the, that is the second one in that and there are several other parameters which are available in postgresql dot conf let us see how it looks so let's go to the data directory ls hyphen lrt and uh, this is postgresql.conf if i just say vi if i wanted to add it i'll have to do this so this is postgresql.conf so the file consists of lines in the form name equal to value so there is a parameter and uh, on the right hand side there will be a value So it is mentioned over here that this file is read on server startup and when the server receives a sci up signal, if you added the file on a running system, you have to sci up the server for the changes to take place. Run pg underscore ctl reload or execute select pg underscore rel uh, reload underscore uh, conf. Some parameters which are marked below requires a server shutdown and restart to take place. So you can see uh, there is one parameter section which is file location like uh, what should be the location of data directory, HBA file, ident file, external PID, then you have uh, uh, connection and authentications. Listen address is very important if you have to, to enable remote connection. So I have mentioned the IP address port is by default this one. Uh, max connection is 100. Super user result connection is 3. So this is under connection and authentication. Then you have the, uh, the second parameter section which is resource usage. Like uh, you can mention uh, the amount of the RAM which can be uh, dedicated to shared buffer or work memory and uh, so on and so there are a lot of parameters which you can do then you have uh, well log parameter so a lot of, lot of things are there in in each uh, section then you have replication uh, section wherein you can uh, uh, once you um, have the replication set up uh, you can enable the parameters so we'll have a separate session for this then you have something called as query tuning so it is uh, there is a great scope available in postgresql.conf then you have reporting and logging like we here to uh, log uh, you know, what to log and uh, and uh, like rotation also is available what when and where so everything is uh, available for your this thing then you have process title like what should be the postgre cluster name then you have a statistics section auto vacuum is there then you have client connection defaults we are not discussing the individual components. Then you have lock management. You have version and platform compatibility. Then you have error handling uh, component. I'm just going through the different components which we have. So there are 312 parameters which are available. So, and, uh, and it depends like uh, uh, if a parameter has a post master attached to it, that means uh, underscore pg underscore settings, um, then you have to restart the instance. Otherwise, uh, you don't need to do so. So I hope it is going to help and uh, thanks for watching.